Hey guys, it's Jess, and today on Beepop, I'm going to redo my sink cabinet. Um, we moved in to this house not even a year ago, and I've kind of always hated this sink, this one. It's just brown and ugly, but I've always really disliked this cabinet right here, and it's really big, it's like huge, and I just want to paint it, so I'm going to paint it gray. <laughs> Dark gray, it goes with the rest of our house. And I'll let you guys see the bathroom because before it was like a burgundy maroon color and obviously we painted it so I'm gonna show you that. Let me try to get a good angle for you guys. So this is my upstairs full bath because it has a bath. But this is what it looks like. There is, I couldn't put a mirror here so I just put one on the side. And I have this bench here I use to like sit on and I do my hair right there. And then I do my makeup in my makeup area. But this sink is absolutely huge and very brown. So I'm going to paint that. And then we have kind of the rest of my decor happening. I also made this. I got two of the wooden crates, painted them white, stacked them on top of each other, and called it a decoration. <laughs> So I have tons of skull stuff in here. My whole theme for this bathroom is skulls and turquoise. So that's why I have tons of skull stuff and a lot of turquoise. But this baby is what we're going to change. So I'm gonna show you what I bought. I bought this Rust-Oleum Chalkboard Ultimat Charcoal Paint. So this is like what color it is. It's gonna be like very, very dark gray. Sorry, I got burned from crafting. My glue gun tried to kill me right there but I'm really excited to use this. I heard with this that you don't have to sand first. So I'm gonna try it, see how it goes. It may fail, we will see. And I also got some sticks to stir this and just a drop cloth. And these brushes were right next to this. So I was like, eh, I'll buy the brushes to go with that. So wish me luck. First thing I'm gonna do is take off the knobs, take out the drawers, and I'm also going to take off these doors. Wish me luck. So this is what it looks like so far. It pretty much looks like there's gonna be some Dexter action happening. Um, I did clean this off, like sprayed it and all that. And I haven't cleaned these off yet, but I took those off and that was super easy. But now you can just see this. Gonna do some mixing action. I really like the color. It looks darker on the camera than it does in real life. It looks like a good charcoal gray. And that's what I was gonna go for. So I'm just gonna test a swatch on the side and see if I like it. Okay, I did a little test swatch. I'm loving it. You can't see it that great on this side because I'm in kind of darkness, but it looks so good. I'm so excited. Also, I'm using the medium sized brush because that just felt safe to me. And so far, it's not adding like texture at all. So I'm just gonna take my time and do this and not hopefully splatter myself with everything. That'd be great. years later still painting this <laughs> so I have been painting for like three hours and I suddenly remember why I hate painting so much and <laughs> I am not even done like I did one coat of the sink wait 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 you can see it it looks pretty good loving the gray but I still have like two more drawers to do 
and I probably actually need to do another coat of like the whole thing. So, oh my God, my back is killing me at this point. Why do I do these things? Why do I do these things to myself? I mean, I hope it's gonna look really nice, the end result. I'm gonna have to seal all this with something like polyurethane, I think. That's what they said. That should be easier. Oh my gosh. Now that I have done two coats on this entire thing, and including all the drawers, I am now going to use this. It is a polyacrylic protective finish, so it'll be good for any water that may fall on it because I noticed that any water that gets on this chalk paint, like it leaves like a weird um, kind of darker spot, so I gotta seal it with something. I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna use a brush. I gotta stir this really well first. So I totally thought this was gonna be clear. I know it dries clear. Oh, this is really watery. It says to mix well. That is um, watery. It's pretty strong smelling too. Thin coats, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do two or three thin coats on everything just to make sure I get it all kind of protected. Hey guys. So all I have left to do is the front of the sink, spill that, but I'm going to show you what this looks like because you can totally tell what part you've done already and what part you haven't done already. So it's really helpful because it's like super glossy now and I like the glossy. It also made it the color richer, but it was super, super thin. So just be careful whenever you're doing this that you don't load up your brush. They only put a little bit on there and then you just go like and then next <laughs> and also it says not to mess with it much when you're brushing so that is what i'm doing but i've been listening to my favorite murder podcast so that's why there's no like speed up shot of me doing this because it's the same thing as me painting it except now it's like painting it glossy so let me just show you see you see the glossy look how glossy that is glossy. I haven't done those yet. I'm gonna wait probably till they're up on the thing to do them because I feel like that's a good idea. And then there's that one and this is hasn't been done yet but you can totally tell on the side like look how glossy that is. That's the first thing I did. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the rest of it goes as well as this has. So I just finished the front of this. The front is definitely the hardest part of this whole scene to paint just because of all the weird like little curvy parts and grooves and everything so that took me a hot minute so that's what it looks like thus far it's very glossy i did get the semi gloss i didn't get high gloss but it's still super super glossy and just fyi polyacrylic is a lot cheaper at home depot than it is at lowe's but my home depot did not even have it in stock the semi gloss so it was like six dollars more expensive at Lowe's. So this is where I am at currently. This has been like forever in the making. I've been doing this forever it feels like. Anyways, I decided to use the paint can to prop up the doors in order to do that. And then it said to sand in between coats of poly. So I got this sander thing and I sanded everything and that took a hot minute. And now I've just been like wiping everything out. I think I'm gonna go wipe everything down again and then do another coat of this thing here, which is the polycrylic. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like at the end. Ah, we're close, so close. Ah. And the first coat was kind of streaky because I guess I should have, I don't know if you can kind of see it on this one. Yeah, you can kind of see it. It's very streaky. I guess I should have sanded the chalk paint down first but I'm like whatever at this point like you can't even look at this thing straight on because this room's pretty small so I'm not really worried about it but I'm just going to wipe everything down once again and then do another layer of the polyacrylic and then we shall be done and I am super excited because this is taking forever and I'm tired of my bathroom looking like a hot mess hey guys <laughs> I just woke up you can't tell I need to brush my hair. But I want to finish out this video because the sink is done and I want to show it to you. Boom! Done. Let me get another angle. Boom! Done. I'm currently cleaning the entire bathroom and 
Um, I'm going to rearrange it. This is what it looks like now, but I think I'm gonna like put decorations on the walls. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that there. I don't know if I like it. This needs decorated and I'm gonna do that. And there's a toilet and there's a sink and I wanted to show you guys what it looked like. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys would like to see a bathroom update of how I've like decorated it, um, leave me a comment down below and I can do like a before and after kind of situation. Also, if you guys like makeover videos, give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're down there, hit that notification bell so you know if I ever sometime I upload a new video, you can find me here on social media. Check back every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for new videos and click that button below to subscribe. Bye guys, thanks for watching and everything I used in this video will be down in the description.